Hey everybody, how you doing? This is DJ Hawk with Metal World Radio, and right now I am standing here with Salador. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Fantastic. Doing great. Could you introduce yourselves for everybody? Sure. For everybody? <laughs> well, my name is Chris, and I'm the guitarist and the singer. Diego, I am the keyboardist. JT, bass, vocals. Nick, drums. Caleb, guitar. You know, last night was my first introduction to you, and you fucking rock. <laughs> That's all I have to say is you guys, you guys had a great stage performance. Not only that, your music is definitely something that's inspiring, and your vocal talents and the music, all of it together, you guys are awesome. And then when you did the I Want Out, the Halloween thing, I was like, Halloween. oh shit, Shamwell's blues. You know what I mean? I was like, I couldn't even believe it. You know? Um, <laughs> Sorry. It's specifically for Aaron. This is his favorite song. Yeah. Yeah, we set up that we set up that cover song in our set list uh, specifically for these life and death shows. Uh, we were talking a lot with John, who, John Ortega, who put together all the shows and is basically the head guy behind this festival. Uh, we just wanted to, we asked him what were some bands that Aaron really liked, you know, and Aaron was a big Halloween fan, so we thought, hey, that's perfect, you know. Let's add Halloween, you know, easy enough for us. It's one of our biggest influences as well. So uh, we threw I went out in there and it's been going well. That's wonderful. Now, can you explain to everybody what the Life and Death Fest is and how you guys got involved with this? Uh, well, the Life and Death Fest is a tribute to Aaron Ortega, which is the brother of John Ortega, who's, who puts on the festival every year. I believe this is the fifth one now that we are a part of. Uh, we got in touch with John uh, when we opened for Halloween back in Denver a year ago. Um, John came to the show. He saw us play. He was a fan. Um, he knew about us for a long time. Um, and he just asked if we would be interested. And I said, sure, send the, send all the information to us. And he got in touch. Uh, we spoke about it for a little bit, talked, worked out the details. And yeah, we were happy to be a part of it. He let us know, you know, what it was all about, how it was about his brother, and how um, they were all big power metal, melodic metal fans. And um, <laughs> they said, bring on the lights. And we motion, have motion activated <laughs> lights. There you go. And yeah, we uh, we actually confirmed this, these shows with John, man, more than six months ago, six, eight months ago now. We've been in touch. So wow. here we are finally in New Mexico, going through Santa Fe. Las Vegas and tonight Albuquerque. So you know it was absolutely amazing to see you in Santa Fe. I just wish there was a bigger crowd out there, you know, to support. But I understand, you know, shit happens. That well, was a great stage and it was great sound and we performed well. So you you sounded great. <laughs> Whenever uh, I do good, I feel good. So right, exactly. <laughs> you know, how long have you been together as as a band? Celador the band has been around for man almost ten years now. Wow. About ten years. Um, I started it when I was in high school. Um, this lineup, though, has been around for about three years now. Yeah. Yeah, just about. <laughs> yeah, just about. Somebody just going to sit there and keep waving. Yeah, yeah right? I know. There it is. <laughs> yeah, we've been together since late 2011. Uh, I think I was talking to Diego a little bit longer than that. Yeah. But yeah. everybody else basically kind of, Caleb came a little bit later. But, yeah, we it all just surprisingly, you know, I spent a number of years after moving to Colorado trying to put together the lineup and I went through sort of a false start. I had some guys that I thought it was going to work out and then they just ended up moving away. Oh. And so uh, then I was back to square one. So it was kind of funny how for as long as I was going through the motions of trying to find a new lineup for the band, it's, it's kind of funny how you spend all those years trying and then just suddenly it's I found there. Nick and JT within a span of about two weeks time. Yeah. Wow. And then just it kind of just picked up from there. So. And that is working out. Yeah, so we've been doing this again now for about almost three years now. We spent the first year together just jamming, working the songs out. At the time, I was not singing at practice. We were still looking for a singer. That was sort of the thing, the final piece that we were trying to get to, to get the lineup back on stage. And uh, I didn't really sit down in in our rehearsal space and start singing live until almost 2013. So wow. I we played our first show when I had about a month or two singing experience. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that, that was basically the main delay. So we've been playing live shows since basically right January, right at the start, January 2013. So we've been doing shows now for a year and a half. So. Wow. Well, 
damn. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's amazing to, to know, like with, with all kinds of bands and musicians and things, you know, things fall into place. It's a d the divine timing, you know. And last night, you know, watching your line, the way you guys are, the, all the songs that you've played, everything that you brought forth, you could, it seems like you guys would have been together longer. We got, know a really, we got a really the rock solid, is rocking. We got a rock solid practice schedule. I mean, everybody takes the band seriously. We're not one of those bands that just, you know, gets together once a month and jams out and then just books a bunch of shows and then just plays shows. I mean, we legitimately have a rock solid practice schedule. So everybody everybody's made huge strides real quick. And, and that's we, what's going to make your band that's, definitely that's successful. That's sort of our that's yeah, that's our band's that's just how we work. That's how we. That's how I we've like been doing that. It. I like that a lot. Now, you know what? One thing that Metal World Radio does is we really go out and we look for the independent artists. We look for the ones that need the exposure. But you know, you guys have all come together as musicians and created this amazing project. This, oh man, you know what, guys? You guys got to hear this. You will hear this. It's going to be orgasmic. But you know, um, what would you? What kind of things would you do to inspire someone? to continue with their musical careers. I mean, obviously your journeys are all different. And you know, everybody's like, oh, well, you know, you didn't want to be a singer, now you're the singer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Things like that, you know, people want and need to hear what keeps you guys together as a band, kind of what can inspire them to keep bringing on the music. Especially in this negative world, man, everybody's like, oh no, music shit, no, the music industry is failing. No people. <laughs> Seriously, there's bands like you guys out there, you know what I mean? It's just people are too blind to see it. One thing I'd say is uh, don't be afraid of failure. Like, I mean, uh, I used to listen to Solidor back when I was in high school, and then uh, when the band, you know, kind of fell apart back then, and uh, I just one day saw a posting online saying Solidor was getting back together, and the band did not have a keyboardist at the time. So I just uh, emailed, uh, turned out to be Chris, I sent Salador an email, oh, got some lights. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So, I, uh, so yeah, I just sent Chris an email and I just said, uh, yeah, and I know you guys, like, I've never had a keyboard player, but uh, I'd be interested in doing it if uh, you guys want, and I sent him a bunch of samples. I ended up recording a song, I believe it was Conscious Defector, was the song I recorded the, key the keyboard solo for as my audition. Oh, oh for your audition. Yeah, I, 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 I think it was Conscious Defector, and yeah. And, um, I mean, I, honestly, I mean, I was just it barely getting started, so I wasn't expecting a response, and I ended up getting in, involved in the band, so... <laughs> Sorry, these lights. Yeah, I ended up getting involved in the band, so I'd say, you know, like, even if you're not expecting anything back, just, I'd say just take the risk and just keep going with your... So that's the motivation yeah. if you want to be a keytar player. <laughs> <laughs> so, the real motivation of being a musician is there's a million moving parts to being in a band. There's a lot of expenses that come along, especially in the beginning. Nobody wants to pay a dime for you to do anything. In fact, they want you to promote all the shows from square one, and it's really unfair. So fighting through that adversity and being able to overcome people looking at you negatively for not being able to sell tickets for your own show, it's ridiculous, but that's the way the system's set up. So we even deal with that now, um, and we're just so happy when we get opportunities like this to come out for any sort of cause, it's something to give back, or something, it's just, there's more to music than just making money and being a rock star. It's not 1982, we're not Motley Crue. I mean, ultimately, if you're not passionate about being a musician, your band will fail. Ha! Choice. And then that's fine. He doesn't talk. He doesn't talk. <laughs> now, do, why, why do drummers never talk? I don't that? know. Not I don't very know. Articulate. Yeah, I guess so. I was going to say so. I better not. Maybe we might edit it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Cut that part out. Because they like to play with their sticks. Uh, <laughs> I play with my wood a lot. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm busy. I'm back there doing other things. Keeping but what everybody keeps you doing what, you, what you're doing? I mean, as a drummer, I mean, you know what? Honestly, you may not have a lot to say, but when you get in that van and you're driving all the way home, you're going to think of everything and anything that you wanted to say. So, Probably. you know, <laughs> what is it that inspired you to get to where you are right now and bring what you bring to Salador? And for uh, yourself, too, because obviously after you guys get off stage, you can just see you guys glowing. <laughs> it's yeah, awesome. It's, it's tough. Um, being told no a lot when I was uh, trying to become a musician uh, definitely dro drove me to to want to be a musician and to be in a, a successful band. Uh, I would say we're somewhat successful being able to to leave our home state and come do things like this and we were on a three-week tour earlier this year so that was incredible and and uh, just just never give up I mean that's cliche or cheesy if you will but uh, I just I just kept trying and trying and trying and I uh, I was sick of being just told no like, no I it's funny I actually auditioned for the band 
couple years ago and didn't really get the the response I was hoping for and then a year later uh, I got a, a hold of Chris and uh, that's that's how that started so it was just a couple of emails here and there and, and now we're now we're here yeah well where you're here it's, I love it <laughs> definitely what about you Oh God! I don't know. <laughs> don't, look at, don't look at statistical figures and do it live. Do it live. <laughs> do it live. Yeah. You know what? And that's true because if you sit there and you're like staring at what people are saying in media and things like that, you're gonna be like, oh man, dude. Oh, I didn't get any Facebook likes today. You know <laughs> how unimportant it seems, but how important it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you're absolutely. You know, you're absolutely right. You got to keep that passion alive within yeah, you. You know, it's fun. And when I heard that you guys were doing this and what the cause was for, because me myself, I did not know, because you know, DJ Hawk smokes weed. But anyways, no. you know, I didn't really, you know, hear it until Steve from Savage Wisdom, the lead singer, got a hold of me and said, "Hey, you got to get out there. You got to go check these guys out." And I was like, "Oh shit! Okay, all right." You know, and I'm like, "I'll get there." You know, and you really impressed me and not only that not with only your stage performance but i mean the vocal talent alone i mean this poor guy was getting hit i'm like did you hear that did you hear that you know yeah. and i'm sitting holy shit i couldn't even take any more pictures because i wanted to see you know what you guys were bringing and what you brought was whew, I, I am so. trying yeah, it's, it's, I do I appreciate that. It's good. It's always good. I always appreciate feedback on the vocals. It's the. It's my. It's my newest endeavor musically. I've only been singing <laughs> since late 2012. Like I've been singing, and um, I'm always asking these guys. I'm always asking everybody. Oh, how's the vocals? I always been trying to give the vocals very high priority because that was the instrument in this band that probably needed the most catch up. I've been playing guitar for years. We've all been playing our respective instruments for years. Damn, this is a vocal great. oriented. This is a very vocal oriented band, and I mean even just out of respect for my old singer who was very talented in, in himself I mean those are some big shoes to fill as well we this band had expectations and so <laughs> the vocals were always a priority and so I always do appreciate well you know that's, hearing feedback from others on on how I'm sounding it's great I mean the harmonization all of it down to to yeah. every riff every scale every beat every thing that you brought to it too you know what I'm saying I'm sitting here going oh my god how come I did not hear these guys before you know and with the cause that you guys have come in i mean you've done three days in new mexico and you've done this for for something other than yourselves you did this for um a, i guess the guy passed away the brother passed away right yeah this is for the these shows are all in tribute to uh john's brother aaron ortega who passed away yeah and, so. and you guys came down here you know despite everything and you i honestly you know what you could see bands that have the ego and i'm i mean seriously ego kills fucking kills a band yeah you know but, at, at this point it just seems like some of that stuff just seems so cliche and forced you know this is like james has been saying this is just the metal the state of metal nowadays what you got to do to thrive in a metal band or to, to to subsist in a metal band there's just no room for that it just looks it just looks out of place you know somebody is just walking around with a forced ego like james like james is saying like it's not the 80s, you know, this ain't the 80s, like it ain't even the 90s, it's just, there's so I, many I old cliches involved in, with bands or metal bands that just absolutely do not exist in reality. If they ever did, they just don't exist now, and so those sorts of attitudes, and, man, it's a day for sound effects, man. In today's showcase, we're going into very, we were just silenced by the Illuminati and all of the things that are around us. <laughs> This is, this is the yeah, there it is. Illuminati came in and said, no more. How do you guys like that? Up against the wall. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. You know, but honestly, you guys, seriously, with this interview and everything that you're doing for your own musical careers and talents and for the people that you are inspiring, because not only that, I sat there and we were driving and I was like really looking at your lyrics. And, you know, I like to look at lyrics and get them and put them in my own life. How does this... How does this connect with me? You know what I mean? And I'm just like, holy shit, we were just, a wow, you know what I'm saying? So what, everything, I want to see you guys succeed, you know? Mm -hmm. Are you guys signed right now? See, so that's the big thing. Well, yes and no. Uh, we, um, 
that's sort of the last piece of the big three that we've been trying to assemble over the last year. We're lucky right now to have both a uh, highly reputed national management and a uh, we just now signed with our second booking agency this year. Um, these guys seem to be uh, or they seem like they're going to be giving us a little bit of priority here so we're hoping that a new tour comes up. Uh, management's main main job over the course of this year was to basically secure us a new solid label deal like we had before and um, they actually do have a couple options right now they have sent us a couple options and we're sort of uh, we're debating and weighing you know the pluses pros and cons of each one and we want to make a you know we want to make a good decision that's best for us so there are things on our plate right now we'll probably be announcing it within the next couple months how about weeks, maybe I ask your permission right here I am a global manager for Dead Inside Records. Okay. And this is owned by Norman Skinner from Imagica. Oh, you right. Know? I know those guys. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, would you guys mind if I recommended you guys to Dead Inside Records? Sure. Absolutely. I mean, it's we, all we, about looking and you know? seeing what you guys, what fits for you. But I mean, this is just another store that I would love to see open for you guys. Oh, yeah. Send them so our, everything show them that you EP. touch yeah. just succeeds and you guys blow up and next thing you know, Sabaton's opening for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is the dream. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely send, send give them our EP. Uh, give them our EPK if we have any more copies in the, in the car. I don't think we brought them, but... Uh, we got internet links. We got we got a bunch of what, stuff. What, yeah. How do we get a hold of you? You know, for all of you that have not heard Salador, you got to definitely, definitely get out there and go to their shows. I mean, if you want to see something that's going to just turn you on to their music, their shows, hands down. But not only that, listen to their CDs. Not only was it recorded excellent, it sounds good. It sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I hear We're a lot. We're talking about Honor 4th, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, well, the one that I bought last that's night. Nice. Yes, I was Honor 4th. Oh, you got pictures of guys. Uh, We're in the middle check of the bro. Check it out. Just <laughs> <laughs> This is what happens in the New Mexico scene. This is called supporting, <laughs> definitely. You know, so. Uh, high expectations. <laughs> very, very disrespectful. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's an inside joke. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's a, yeah okay, we're good. So, um, you know, where can they find you? You know, what, do you have uh, Facebook? Oh, yeah, we have our Facebook, we have our dot com, Solidor.com. We have a SoundCloud. Make sure to we, check uh, our Weebly page. Yeah, yeah. Weebly. Man we management recommend. We, we just sent a, we just sent a, uh, or we just made a new Weebly page, which is apparently like the latest MySpace Reverb Nation social media site for bands. Weebly. Wow. We got yeah. one of those now too. Check us out at Celador.Weebly.com. Um, we got everything. We got a Reverb Nation. You can just you can type our name in on YouTube. You can type us in on Google. You'll find us. One good thing about our band name, you know, back in the day, I was like, hey, at least uh, it's easy to Google. You know, it's not yeah. gonna, nothing else is going to come up with us. At least back then. Right. So. Exactly. You know, I want to thank you guys for taking out time out and doing the interview. Do you feel like we've covered everything, or do you guys have something more you would like to I feel add? Very revealing. No, feels yeah. Good. Does this feel? I mean, I want to make sure that you guys get the exposure that you want. You know, I want to make sure that people see who you are as musicians, you know what I mean? So I'll be editing and what have you, you know what I mean? Yep, Ch um, uh, check us out. Anybody watching this who has never heard of us, uh, check out our EP on our fourth. We have new material in the works that should be released shortly. Uh, yeah, check us out on the on the web, Celador. Awesome. Could you guys do a shout out for Metal World Radio? Sure. Of course. Okay, just, you know, Celador tuned into Metal World Radio where music is the universal language. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's, it's going to get harder after this one. Ready? <laughs> one, two, three. This we is are selling the door. Shout out to Metal World Radio. And the tagline was? <laughs> <laughs> Where music is the universal language. Yeah! yeah. Boom. You want to try We're going to do that again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are Celador. Check us out on Metal World Radio, where music is the universal language. I'm not editing this part. This is Celador. <laughs> Uncut. Yeah, Uncut. Okay, course, ready? Yeah. Let's try this one more time. All of okay, you together? So on three. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Yeah, we'll let him count. One, two, three. This we is are Celador. Celador. Check us out on Metal World Radio, where music is the universal language. Yeah! Fucking sick. Thank you. Okay, the next one is, this is Salador. You're tuned in to DJ Hawk. Rock out with your hawk out. DJ Hawk, rock out with your hawk out. 
Okay, so watch the Freudians on this one. No, go for it. No, you, do, do whatever fills you. I mean, bring it out. Yup, exactly. Okay, rock out with your hawk out. Yes. Okay, DJ Hawk. This is a real. Okay. Let's decide that right now. Okay, ready? This is a real. And this is. Okay, this is. And, oh, are we saying, and this is. Whatever this is you DJ guys Hawk. want to say, whatever. No, 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 no. I mean, and this is DJ Hawk or what? No. You're tuned in to. Oh, tuned in to. Tuned in to. Or okay. your host. Or. DJ. Holy okay, shit, right? whatever you're, yeah. 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 <laughs> Shamwell. Shamwell moments. Oh. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. We this are Celador. And you are tuned into DJ, DJ Hawk. Hawk. Rock out with, with your, your Hawk out. out. <laughs> Close. I feel like, yeah, we should just have one person say it. <laughs> yeah. That's what Chris said. That wouldn't yeah. be a bad idea. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> this is Chris P from Celador, and you're listening to DJ Hawk. Rock out with your Hawk out. Perfect. See, I have experience with these. I actually had to do Absolutely. a bunch of these back in the day. Sweet. So, um, what I'll do is I'll keep you guys posted on when I'm going to play it. I'll make like a, a picture that we get tonight, mm -hmm. you know, is what I like to use for the banner or for the posters that we distribute for publications or whatever. Um,